Today, I try to build Titanic steam engines in vanilla Minecraft. Have you ever wanted your Minecraft builds not just to be static objects, but fully functional creations that you can play and interact with? Well, here at AKA Basically Anything, that's exactly what I do. With the power of redstone and command blocks, I bring a plethora of creations to life. So join me, ladies and sirs, as we try to bring Titanic's engines back to life. Hello, ladies and sirs, I'm Sir, and welcome to another Working Contraptions video. I've spun the wheel of creations, and today we are going to be building Titanic steam engines. I know I have a little bit of a Titanic audience in the crowd, so I know some of you guys are going to enjoy this one. So let's start off with what I feel like I want to achieve with this build. One, I want the pistons to move. You don't really have an engine if they're not moving. Two, they have to sound like steam engines. Three, I want the engines to actually power the propellers, so they need to move also. That should be a bit of a challenge. And four, I want boilers lit for this thing to function at all. This should hopefully be a simple build to achieve. Now before I begin the video, I'd like to see you ladies and sirs comment down below what you would like to see me build with command blocks. It might just be added to the wheel. Also, while you're down there, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to see more. Or even join the Discord. And if you want access to downloads and other perks, join my Patreon as it helps support the channel. Now without further ado, let's begin. Okay, I originally started out with trying to make my own engines already. Um, I, I horribly failed. I just can't seem to build them correctly. So at the same time, it's the high idea to make them working. I've taken this um, build from Kronos Darth. I, 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 I really hope I'm saying that correctly. I, it's German or something. It's a, it's a German Minecraft channel. I'm not sure how to say it. These are from his Olympic ship build, which is basically the sister ship to the Titanic, so this should work perfectly. Actually, I think I'm going to actually need more than this, though, so I'm actually going to make a copy of this and move this. Okay, much better. This, this will be our base to work from and make this work. Hmm, what to start with? The propellers or the engines? Propellers or the engines? I don't know. Eeny, meeny, miny, 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 the engines. May as well start there first, I suppose it makes sense to. Uh, shut up! Go away! Try to think! Go away! I'm working! Okay, I'm going to take out a room to start doing my cooking in. Okay, home sweet home for the next few hours. <laughs> what could go wrong? So this is going to be our base to copy the thing from. I should have the rest of them. Well, I guess they'll do. They're fine. Why do you look wrong? I don't know what. Something doesn't look right with this. Okay, and there we go. I'm going to kind of clone that one blue. Ugh, okay, first piston done. I've now only got however oh, many to go. Wait, hold on. I can just use the same one. Over Never mind, I'm stupid. I can just use the same template for all the pistons. It's fine. I just, well, except for the other ones, I will build those two. That one, that one. Okay, so that's now done. Okay, that one done. Another six to go. And finally, those ones done. I'm so fed up with building pistons. Okay, so the idea from that, I mean, it'll be like a piston here with like a block, so it'll be powered through this. And this will have some kind of like power thing pushing it like an input to be circled around until the piston's like a soft wheel signal the piston. That's the idea. Now we're gonna construct it. And go. Are you working? You are working! I have a singular piston working! I didn't even mess it up! Now I just gotta get the rest of them to work. Okay, so this should now all allow us to turn on with a push on the button. On. Yep, so it's there. Okay, so if I do this. Okay, that's working. Wonderful. That's working wonderfully. Okay, now I just need to do it on the other side. Okay, I can hook this up, and then this will allow them to go between the two. Okay, so that's all together if I do that. Okay, they're working, they're working, they're both working. Wonderful. Okay, yep, they're both working. I didn't even know oh, that's actually not working. Why are you not working? Okay, now they're all working. They're working. They're working. Woohoo. Okay, time to do some sounds. What can I do for steam engine sounds? Okay, let's try Old Faithful. Yeah, that's perfect. So it'll work. Um, I think this one's useful. I think I can use that one and this one. So these ones together. Yeah. But if I end up making them kind of pulse between the two, it's just like... Yeah, that'll work. Okay, let's test this now. Oh my gosh! No, that's way too loud! Way too loud! Turn it off! Turn it off! <sighs> oh, 
Oh, and I need to get through all these again. Okay, let's try this again. Push. There we go. Much better. Perfect. Okay, so now I want to do propellers. Let's do this. Propellers to make a room. We're signifying this one with purple. Okay, those corners there. Okay, so if I grab the other corner, so I grab this and just climb. I grab that and that. Yep. Yeah. All right, that's all lit up. Okay, so that's all good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay, should be all working. So these are all in place. Okay, so now if I do this, the propeller should be spinning. Yep, they're spinning! They're working! Look at this! Wonderful! Perfect. Alright, cool. And it's all working wonderfully. Okay, great. It's all working, but I feel like I need more, you know, cover up this. Like, I can add boilers. You know, it makes sense, have the boilers, make it run, and, you know, spin propellers and all. Yeah. I think I'm going to quickly, I'm going to quickly build some propellers. Okay, we've got boilers, now we just need to make them work. This is one hell of a long line of commands. <laughs> I really hope this all works. I swear it doesn't work, I'm going to... Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is all together. So now if I come up here and just light all these. Okay, so they're all in there. Now, let's just do the final moment. Okay, this should all work. There shouldn't be a reason for this not to work. Okay, so... Ha ha ha! Yes! Okay, so that's working. Those are going, those are burning. Go down the other end. Uh, yep, they're all spinning. Look at that! It's all working and I didn't even screw it up! <laughs> okay, so it's all working. So if I come down this end, turn it off. Let's do it all off. And then if I, I don't know, just take out one of the button of things there, there we go. And try to turn it back on again, it should fail. Yeah, so there's not enough steam pressure. There we go. Wonderful. Okay, cool. So there we go, it's now fully working. If we come in here and we just go, doot, and come up. Oop, no, it missed. Oop, there we go. And that there. Okay, so I've left all the rest of them running because I don't want to go through and, you know, bore you with all that. So if we now come through here and then we now go to activate this thing, go. Wonderful. Look at that. It's wonderful. I didn't even break anything. Which is a very rare occurrence. It's fantastic. And now I guess we come up to the section where I show you how it works. So first thing you're going to start off with the boilers. You can have as many as you really want to, honestly. But yeah, you can put on the things on either side. So down here we've ended up going this long string. This has been color coded in pink. This whole section here is what's in charge of the actual, um, you know, making sure the boilers are lit. So each one of these is basically the same. You basically have one repeating command block, which is detecting in one of the um, one of the holes in the furnace is detecting the fire. If it detects that piece of fire, it then activates this command block, which sets a piece of concrete here at the end. Um, if it stops detecting the fire, it will then, you know, turn the redstone torch here back on, which will then replace the block here with air. So for this chain thing to work, you basically need to have each one of these detecting all the pieces of fire that are in every single furnace, letting these blocks be placed, which allows the signal to continue through right to the end. So if a single one of the fires are out, it will break the chain and won't work. It all leads up to this little section here, which basically, when it's activated, allows there to be a redstone dust just about here. At the same time, it also activates this one, which sets air in this little thing here. So that goes to air. But when this is deactivated and there's not a signal, it then turns this redstone torch on, which goes into this command block here. Which basically does the opposite of what these ones just did. It's basically a thing that allows for... Um, basically a thing that stops this whole contraption from working, because it disconnects this. But it adds a redstone dust here, which allows these three command blocks to activate. These are all basically play sound commands. So, just good look at those. Copy them. Or repeated command blocks. This basically gives the sound and when you can't activate the machine properly. So anyway, once you have that, once you've got the button here, it's just right into the platform. Basically when you activate it, it sends a redstone signal down this way. Just goes to these commands here. Basically it quickly sets a gold block, 
and removes the gold block of air that does that right here on this spot here so that you can bring this redstone signal through to this. It only, um, because of how quick it is, it only lets a very quick pulse out which goes down to the side of both sides so it's kind of identical and lets a quick redstone pulse in which allows there to be a constant rotating clock. So how it is at the moment, it won't work because these are up. So the system actually brings those down over here. So the button activates, goes down to the silk circuit. We've got two droppers, one facing up into the other one. You got a little hopper down here. This can just have a little bit of redstone dust on it. But it goes through here and turns that button input into a, like a continuous signal. Goes down to this little yellow circuit. So the yellow circuit basically turns on the pistons. So that goes solidly on, so it now completes the circuit. So when this also activates it, like, like a tick or so later, it then starts all the clocks going. So so like that for all the ones down here. So yeah, these ones all um, get activated by those pistons, so they're all, all their clocks can work too. Same with down here. So you've got these green signals going through. This one down here isn't connected up to the green starter though, because I just put a copper clock here. It just made it a lot easier. Plus these are connected to the propellers, so it's not the same piston mechanism. It'll be fine. So yeah, this all leads up to these things. These are all basically all the things responsible for the pistons. The um, red, orange, and blue are all labeled for each one of these. So this is for all. So all the blue ones here are all actually just copies of these ones being put in. So that's all what these sections are. All the ones on top, they're all the ones and the copies of these pistons. Because you can see on each one's like four command blocks it responds to each four of the different states. The same general idea applies to all of these ones and all of these ones in the red and orange sections. So orange and red. So let's quickly go have a look at these ones. So you basically have a clone command between the two coordinates of what's in the clone area, and then you basically have the bottom corner for up in the actual machine, so paste it in there. And that's the same, basically all of them, just changing between the different templates. Yeah. So yeah, it's the same thing for all of these, but in their separate locations around a machine. So you've got a piston there, you've got a piston here, and you've got a piston here and here. You've then got these ones in between here, you know, on these sides. Got one there and there, and you got one here and here. These are all the ones in the red section. And then you got the weird ones here in the middle. This is basically for the um, orange section, these two here. And basically all these templates all basically copy into the lower corner about here-ish. So it's like that for all of them. You've always got to use the coordinates in the bottom corner. But yeah, these are all basically the same command. You just got to change the coordinates for wherever you're building. So there's not really much point in going through all those. And while we're on the pistons, dive into the, all the effects. We've got a play sound command, Minecraft into the Minecraft writing block. These locations, yep, yeah, that's that one there. And you've got the one here, it's like lava extinguished play sound. It's another one of the piston stuff. We also have a, a Minecraft particle cloud just going on top of the pistons, just to give a little bit of effect. It's not necessarily realistic to a normal engine, but it just gives that little bit of pizzazz. Pizzazz, I don't normally use that word, pizzazz. Maybe I should use that more. Yeah, and this one's here, basically the same extinguish. Here's another cloud. I think all these are clouds. Yep, cloud, cloud, and cloud. First, there's no play sounds in these ones here, because when I um, tried it, it made everything way too loud, so I got rid of a bunch of them so it didn't stack as much. So you got that, you get more cloud commands. So then you fit onto the other this one. This one's also a cloud. But we do have two more sounds. You got a sound here, which is a lava extinguish, and we got a sound here, which is another one will extinguish. Come down below here, I think we've got some more cloud commands. Yep, cloud and cloud. Same old stuff. And then down here, I believe these are also all clouds. Yeah. So cloud, 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 cloud. All part of the clouds. So it leads us to the final bit, which is the propellers. The whole propeller system is made up of just these six commands. Each one of these corresponds to each one of the three propellers, which are basically copying from the templates over here. So you've got this one here is copying this one and this one, alternating between them, you're giving the illusion of it spinning. This is for the middle one, the tiny little one, it's going back and forth between those states. And then you've got the other one on this side, which is going between those ones. These two look the same, but they're actually angled slightly differently, so they're basically alternate to each other. So there's two different types. But yeah, this is all being run by this little hopper clock. Very simple, being out by black zone button. So yeah, you've got your comparators, your repeaters, goes through here and activates all of these at the same time. Um, but since it's alternating on each side, it then goes alternate to each other, so it goes very quickly between the two states, back and forth. So if I grab this one here, da -da 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 -da, this one here is basically doing this bottom corner here, and then you have the middle one, we'll probably be doing this one, and then you have the one on the very end, which will be doing like the bottom corner here. But yeah, that's all the redstone. It's not the most complicated thing I've ever built. Oh, actually, there's one little thing I missed. These ones are also clouds, so they just exist. It's nothing extra special. The diamond doesn't signify anything. But yeah, aside from that, you just got to make your own templates of how you want to make each of the pistons move. So yeah, just a quick look at some of these. This one here. And all of these ones here. 
absolutely wonderful. I love this, like the things going up and down. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. But that's it, ladies and sirs. That's my Titanic steam engine working in vanilla Minecraft using command blocks. I hope you really enjoyed the video, as I had a lot of fun making it. But I really hope you enjoyed the video, ladies and sirs. Leave a like if you did, or even leave a comment of what you'd like to see me do in the next video. You might just make it onto the wheel of contraptions. If you want to see this build for yourself, you can download it from my Patreon to help support the channel. So until next time, ladies and sirs, ta -ra.